And now we turn to Pakistan. The country's Prime Minister Imran Khan is facing a no-confidence challenge in Parliament. The position says uh, Mr. Khan has mismanaged the country's economy and uh, foreign policy since uh, coming into power. Mr. Khan claims that a foreign-funded conspiracy is behind motion. For more on that, let's cross live to our correspondent Daniel Han in Islamabad. First of all, Daniel, tell us more uh, if the Prime Minister has offered any evidence on his allegation. Uh, well, uh, Penteng uh, Prime Minister has uh, said that opposition's no trust move is part of an alleged, alleged uh, foreign funded conspiracy planned against his government over his refusal to have uh, uh, Pakistan's foreign policy be influenced uh, from abroad. Uh, the Pakistan Tariq and Saf supporters had assembled at his call ahead of uh, the no trust uh, move against him in a massive uh, power show here in Islamabad last night. Uh, in his speech, uh, Prime Minister Imran Khan said uh, his government had been aware of. Uh, this conspiracy for many months, uh, saying he knew uh, about those who assembled uh, the opposition parties against his government. He, uh, he uh, said attempts are being made uh, uh, through foreign money to change uh, the government in Pakistan. He waved a letter uh, as evidence. He said uh, his government has been uh, threatened in writing, but uh, said he will not uh, compromise on uh, national interest. Uh, indicating towards a character, Prime Minister Imran Khan said he is sitting in London and is meeting with people who are collaborating in uh, creating instability in Pakistan. Over a dozen of his party members have already uh, come out in the open, indicating that they might support the opposition's no trust motion, uh, while uh, the government claims it has proofs uh, uh, that uh, these uh, members have taken large amounts of bribes. Uh, uh, government's allies are still to decide. Uh, the voting on the no trust motion can take up to seven days if it is stable today. Uh, but Prime Minister Imran Khan says he will fight these uh, corrupt till the end. Pandang. So, Daniel, uh, tell us a little bit more about the mainstream public opinion in Pakistan. Uh, what are the main challenges uh, the pe uh, that the people of Pakistan think are quite urgent and pressing? Uh, well, uh, things have not been easy for Prime Minister Imran Khan since uh, taking office. His government uh, inherited a massive uh, debt. Uh, uh, there was no tax collection system. Exports were at an all-time low, while import was very high. Uh, uh, there were barely any employment opportunities, and the, uh, the situation remains the same. And uh, there was a security situation across the border in Afghanistan, and Pakistan was uh, playing its part as an intermediary. And uh, all this was exacerbated. Uh, with the arrival of uh, the global COVID-19 pandemic. Even then, the Pakistan government was uh, one of the first uh, to take action by introducing smart lockdowns, but it further damaged uh, the dwindling economy. Uh, so whatever happens, uh, if this government stays or goes, the problems will remain the same, and it will not be easy to take on uh, such an enormous task uh, for whoever comes in next uh, pandemic. Thank you very much. Our correspondent, Daniel Han in Islamabad.